welcome to Bookish Babes. My name is Chastity. And my name's Hannah. And today we will be giving you our April reading wrap up. So the first book I've read in the month of April was Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. Um, now you're going to notice that I read a ton of Colleen Hoover this month. It was because I was trying to finish up her books because next we are filming a video where we're ranking all of her books. Um, this was by far, spoiler alert, my least favorite by her. I think I rated it three out of five stars. I was telling Chastity, I just found Merit really kind of annoying as a narrator and I kind of felt like we were supposed to feel bad for her but I just couldn't feel bad for her um, and I to be honest I got about two-thirds of the way through it before I just skimmed the ending this one was just not for me see I don't think it was I, see I don't agree yeah um it's not my favorite but I I didn't find her annoying like you did I don't know I don't I usually love books about like complicated family concepts um, but that one just did not do it for me. I, I felt like she was more upset about the way that her life went than she had a right to be. <laughs> I mean, it was a real quirky family. That's yeah. why I like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I thought it was an enjoyable read for me. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite by her, but I still liked it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first book that I read in April was Fully Adieu by Cynthia A. Rodriguez. Um, this one really really caught me off guard. Like, I really enjoyed this book. It's about Abel and Rose, who both ended up in um, a mental institution, both for totally opposite reasons. Um, and they, they just find this instant connection, which everyone thinks is kind of weird because Rose really doesn't connect with anyone. Um, they end up escaping the institution and then all hell breaks loose. The ending is just crazy. Like, I definitely highly recommend this book. Mm -hmm. um, I think I rated it five stars. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. Definitely a read. Okay, awesome. So the next book I read last month was November 9 by Colleen Hoover. This one, I have to say, was the coolest concept for a book. You know, a couple, It's they're not even really a couple. They're just two people who literally see each other on one single day out of the year every year for five years. And it's so cool to see kind of, because you don't really check in with them any other day. Like the book literally all takes place pretty much on or around this one date. Um, and so it's cool because you see them one year and then you flash forward and see them the next year. And it's cool to see kind of how they've changed and where their life has gone. Um, there's of course, in typical Colleen fashion, there's a plot twist that I was not expecting and that angered me and made me have to put the book down for at least 24 hours. Um, but I totally understand why it was something that had to happen because, and I'm not going to say anything else about it, but it totally tied everything together and it made everything make so much more sense. But I rated this one, I want to say five out of five stars. It was really, really great. If you're looking for one by her, I would really, really recommend this one. I would too. I really, really enjoyed that one. Mm -hmm. It was super, super, super cool. Yeah, I read it very quickly. Yeah. I read most of it pretty quickly. Yeah, but same. Without yeah. Merit was the only one that I didn't finish in like two days. <laughs> I'll have to agree with you. That yeah. one took me about a week to finish. Yeah, it was yeah. rough. I, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was kind of mad at myself that I was taking so long to read it. It's kind of one of those ones that it's harder to get into than her other books. Yeah, it's and even, even if you don't feel the same way that I do about it, it's not one that you can just sit down and kill. Like there's a lot, there's a lot of information mm -hmm. and a lot of um, emotions in that book that you kind of have to, I feel like process before you move on. Yeah, I agree. So the second one that I read in April was Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I know we've talked about this one before because mm -hmm. you read it in what? I February? Think, I think February. February. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this book and I heard it was like off the charts. For me, I rated it a three star. Mm -hmm. I, I rated it four when I read it, I think. It wasn't spectacular mm, to me either. No, it really wasn't. The So the synopsis really got me because it was like, oh, what is like Archer's history? Mm -hmm. And ooh, Brie really turned me off. I did not like Brie. She, kind of like reading through her, parts were just like very... I don't want to say boring, but they just didn't draw me in. Mm -hmm. Like Archer was the main person that like drew me into the story, yes. and I liked reading about his backstory and all the different stuff. But I just, I just didn't feel the spark. 
I love literally the only reason I rated it a four out of five stars is because his backstory was so cool and unique and it's something that's really different and I feel like I've never seen it before in a romance novel so that was the coolest part for me. I can definitely agree with that. I just I think there was so much hype around it. Mm -hmm. I expected a lot more and I was just kind of disappointed like yeah. oh okay mm -hmm. this is it. So the next book I read last month was I Can Be a Better You by Taryn Fisher, previously called Bad Mommy, which was really hard for me. I kept asking her, I was like, so they're the same book? They're not, they're not two different books? Um, I read this one on my Kindle app, and I really wish that I had read the physical copy of it, only because I kept having to go back because I feel like I wasn't paying as much attention to it as I should have. There's so many details. So be warned, if you read this one, you've got to pay attention to the details. Um, but I rated this one 5 out of 5 stars. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. I especially enjoyed, I want to say it's literally the last line in the book, don't look. Because she's, she's reading, she's reading it right, it right now. now. Um, the, the last line I want to say, yes, literally the last line, I was like, no way. Um, That's how I was with Fuck Love. Yes. It was so great. It tied the whole thing together and it makes me understand so much. Like if you're a fan of hers and you want, like read through her Tuesday with Taryn that she does on her Instagram, it tied everything together that she's ever mentioned. Um, but even if you're not a fan of hers, I really think you would like this one. It's a really great psychological thriller and I killed it in less than two days. It was really great. And it takes place in Seattle and it, uh, she's really good at um, like her whole thing with imagery, it was really beautiful. It always is. Yeah. She always picks the perfect place yeah. for the setting. Mm -hmm. And then her imagery is all... Yeah. I wish I could write like that. I don't. <coughs> but I wish I could. Uh, the last book that I read for April is Tiger Tiger by Margot Fragoso, maybe? I'm not sure if I butchered that name right now. This is a memoir, however, um, which is a little different for me. I don't usually read memoirs. This one was very good. It was a little difficult to get through. It's definitely difficult content. Uh, Pre-warning here, guys. Um, it's about Margot's life. Um, she's seven when the book starts, and she ends up developing a relationship with an older man, Peter, who's in his, like, 50s when they meet. And she's, like, 11. It's, it's her memoir from the time she's 11 to, like, 23. And it's it's madness like the things that this girl went through and she like literally she had a relationship with peter but peter was definitely a pedophile and there was so much more going on and it was just mm -hmm. it was really hard to stomach but like but a good read mm -hmm. so the last books i read this month i'm just going to include all in one because it was a trilogy i don't know if that's technically cheating um but it was the slammed series by colleen hoover once again Tried to get through all of her books this month, which I did. Um, I don't know what I can say about this without spoiling something. There is something that happens very early on in the book um, where you kind of learn what Will is. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and I can't say anything There's else. really not, there's not a lot you can say about I literally without can't, giving I, it away. I can't so. even describe the synopsis. I guess I can say that a girl moves to a new town uh -huh. and meets the guy who lives across the street from her. And by the end of the book, they have a lot more in common. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. I think I did... I can't remember if I rated this four or five stars. It wasn't my favorite by her, but I did actually genuinely enjoy it. Here's the thing. This was not necessary. <laughs> and I love usually the books from the guy's point of view, mm -hmm. but I don't think it was necessarily a book that was necessary to be heard from Will's point of view, if that makes sense. And also Point of Retreat. So Point of Retreat, I actually read all the way through. This girl, I ended up just skimming. Um, because it was the same exact story and I didn't really learn. I feel like Will's not all that complicated of a character, so I was never really wondering what he was thinking yeah. in any given moment, so it wasn't, I, get that. I didn't learn any new information. Um, but this is definitely, yet again, another one by her that I recommend. In fact, I would feel like I would recommend this one for maybe somebody who was younger. Yeah, you know what, it was my second one Yeah, I her, wish that I, I had maybe read it a couple years ago. I think I would have enjoyed it a little bit more, but I did really genuinely enjoy it now. Yeah, I definitely, and I, I related to that, that one on like a very personal level, yeah. so I read it in one day. Mm -hmm. and. 
it ripped me apart. Yeah. But it was a very good one. Yeah. And it and it honestly it ripped me apart for reasons that most people like it's not well are gonna relate, relate to. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Yeah. So it's just and we can't say anything about it because it'll ruin something. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it'll ruin a big thing. Yeah. So that's what we read in April. Mm hmm so that is all we read in the month of April. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know down below if you've read any of these books or if you're thinking about picking up any of these books and what you thought about them, if you have. And um, we will see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye.